Good evening and welcome to the City of Helena City Commission meeting, January 10th, 2022, 6 o'clock p.m. This meeting is called to order. Welcome and thank you for participating in the City of Helena City Commission meeting. We are pleased to be able to provide this alternative meeting format in the city's effort to broaden public participation. Please be patient as we may experience technical difficulties during the meeting. We welcome your public commentary. Please read the following tips and guidelines for the app usage and your participation. Would you rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge Madam Clerk, would you take the roll, please? City Attorney Cope. Here. City Manager Harlow Schalk. Here. Commissioner Dean. Here. Commissioner Logan. Here. Commissioner Fever. Here. Commissioner Reed. Here. Mayor Collins. Here. Our regular City Commission minutes of December 20th, 2021 were received. Do we have any addition? If not, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Mayor, I'll move uh, the minutes for the regular commission meeting on December 20th. Second. Second. Can you hear me? Did I, did I hear a second? I think Commissioner Fever. <laughs> Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Madam Clerk. Commissioner Dean. Aye. Commissioner Reed. Aye. Commissioner Fever. Aye. Commissioner Logan. Aye. Mayor Collins. Aye. The motion carries five to zero. Okay, I will relocate to the podium for the state of the city address. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the annual State of the City Address. The City Charter states, the mayor shall communicate to the City Commission and to the general public a statement of the affairs and management of the city each January, and may make recommendations regarding these matters. Our City Charter was adopted 1976, and it states, Helena, Montana is the proud seat of our state government. It is a community with a colorful past and a vibrant future. There is an openness and basic decency that beckons each of our citizens to contribute to its unique identity. This beautiful city is governed by a diverse, hardworking city commission. I wanna thank and recognize all city employees for all they've done to contribute to the success of this city. Thank you. The city commission and city staff are two parts that make the city what it is. However, we could not accomplish all we do without the various advisory boards. I wanna recognize the members of the various advisory boards. They gave hundreds of hours of free time to make this city run. We thank you. I also want to especially recognize member, members of the Helena Citizens Council. The City Commission sincerely appreciates all your hard work. In addition to the efforts of all who work with the city organization, the city values those who work tirelessly to make our community grow. It is time we acknowledge the fact that Helena has a thriving business community Therefore, we must support those policies and initiatives 
that will continue to develop a strong and diverse economy. It is very important that we recognize the day-to-day -day work of the city and not take it for granted. We've continued to deliver essential services to our community of Helena, plowing the streets, fixing potholes, responding to emergency calls, patrolling the community, collecting garbage, et cetera. However, I also want to recognize several accomplishments from the year 2021. Tonight, I would like to share with, the, with you the accomplishment achieved during the many challenges of 2021, as well as the ongoing projects of the city government. The city manager's office continued responding to the COVID-19 pandemic through each of its variant, including completion of services to the community with marginal impact to the community. This office also completed over 300 community meetings with organizations and stakeholders in the community. It implemented a communication and engagement program, including the launch of the Be Heard Helena, increasing citizens' input on key issues state citywide. It adopted a balanced fiscal year 2022 budget on time, including the implementation of a citywide work plan to communicate work funded and completion of that work in alignment with the commission's strategic objectives. Completed the fiscal stability analysis, developed three year stability plan and began its implementation. This office also hired the Public Works Director, Human Resources Director, and the Fire Chief. It launched an economic development recruitment tool that include Helena specific details and video sharing what it like to live, what it's like to live, work, and enjoy Helena. Some of the goals for this office it will hire the community director police chief and parks director. An integrate community climate survey results into strate strategies that will set Helena apart as an employer of choice. It will also stabilize staffing in all departments. City attorney, some of those accomplishments. The city attorney office was able to grow its staffing to better serve the city and its residents. Additional staff and promotion of existing city employees allow the city to provide more research and advice on re requests for legal opinions, take an active role in Helena's DUI court, implementation and free up the city attorneys to focus on higher level advice needed by the city. It improved efficiency by implementing cloud storage and digital workforce of internal documents, including a digital agreement review and execution. It implemented a pilot deferred prosecution program to reduce strain on the court docket. The city attorney office also assisted in negotiating a franchise for a new triple play provider, expanding Helena residence option when it comes to internet, TV, and phones. Some of the goals for this office include this year, the city attorney office will continue to explore expanded prosecution-based victim services and a misdemeanor probation program that will make completion of court mandated treatment and counseling economically feasible for defendants. Community development. Some of those, some of the accomplishment for this department. The building division process over 400 building related permits. 200 million plus in construction for new and remodeled single family homes. More than 27 million in multifamily construction. 140 million in commercial construction. Notable projects this year were the new buildings for the State Historical Museum and the new construction of Shodare facilities and the completion of Sealy Building. The city received a CARES CBDG grant for 600,000 to assist the YWCA in the rehabilitation and remodel 
of their facility. Some of the goals for the develop, community development department, this department will fund the city first project through the housing trust fund. It will launch our single family home rehabilitation program, complete the first neighborhood plan, the facilities department. The facility department was built, was busy in 2021, helping to keep city buildings open and safe during the pandemic. Facility staff led the efforts to improve and reconfigure the Law and Justice Center for Police Department Administration Offices and Sheriff Coroner's Offices. Some of the goals of this department, the facility department is working on hiring an engineering firm to perform a study on current energy efficiency at all city facilities. This city goal is to make all facilities 50% energy efficient by 2026. The department will continue designing changes to the North City County building parking lot to better comply with ADA regulations. The project is expected to begin in early summer of 2022. Finance and utility services. Some of the accomplishments are, the finance department was also very busy in 2021, helping to deliver a comprehensive budget document for fiscal year 2022. It focused on the commission's strategic objective and department work plan. Staff also develop a meaningful budget and reserve policies that are guiding our efforts towards financial resiliency. The finance department is leading two major te technology upgrades that will improve efficiencies as well as customer experience. The department started the, pro the process of replacing city enterprise resource planning software. The utility service team is also working on rolling out a new billing portal for customers to view and pay utility bills online. Some of the goals for this year, the finance department is focused on continuing efforts with process improvement, developing and re revising critical policies and procedures. The department will help administer roughly 8.4 million in ARPA funds. The finance department developing a new capital improvement plan that is policy driven and prioritizes critical infrastructure to, the, to best meet the needs of the city. We will incorporate this new plan into our fiscal year 2023 budget process. The fire department. The fire department was incredibly busy in 2021, answering 4,268 calls for service throughout the year. The department underwent a change in leadership with, Ken, with Chief Ken Wood retiring and Assistant Chief John Campbell being promoted to fire chief. The department added a new fire inspector position, which plays a critical role in protecting the community. The fire department started the process of de developing a massive plan led by Emergency Services Consulting International. The master plan, which is expected to be presented to the commission in the next few months, will, perform, will inform many of the department's goals moving forward. Human Resources Department it was also busy recruiting employees for critical vacant positions throughout 2021. The HR Department helped explore new recruitment avenues and explore and employ creative retention strategies. The department had played an integral role in helping staff navigate the COVID pandemic. HR has helped provide rapid testing for city employees along with implementing protocols to, to aid the mitigation of spreading the virus. HR focus on employees collaboration during an employee advisory group to support and advise the department in matters impacting staff. A workplace survey was developed and distributed by the HR department this past year, which garnered a nearly 60% return rate. The department played an integral part in negotiating two major labor contracts with the International Association of Firefighters Local 448 and the Helena Police Protective Association. Some of the goals, 
The Human, Human Resources Department is focused and moving forward in its long-term goals of being the number one employer of all cities in the state of Montana by 2026. One important piece of this process is completing an internal salaries analysis, which the department is currently going through. Municipal court, some of those accomplishments. The municipal court staff moved to their new offices and courtroom, while continuing to provide court services during the two weeks transition. Court documents were moved to an electronic format making them available online and more easily accessible to the public. Jury summer for the jury service for term year were sent out in postcards form. Jurors were asked to fill out jury service form online for a more efficient response from public. The courts received a great reaction to this change and form were completed online by the public and processed in record time. Court clerk cleared 1,410 warrants during 2021 and collected and issued restitution in the amount of $63,000. Some of the goals of the court, staff will continue to work on retention and management of the court's documents. The court is also committed to improving staff efficiency as well as improving education of defendants, defendants on their charges and requirements to achieve compliance and completion of sentencing. Park, parks, recreation, and open land. Some of the accomplishment of open lands. With community partner Helena Rotary, the open land department constructed an accessible trail on Mount Helena to facilitate access for people of varying abilities level to enjoy our cherished Mount Helena city parks. Open land completed 275 acres of forest fuel reductive thinning within open land and treated approximately 410 acres of noxious weed treatment within city open lands. The Parks Department and Recreation managed to maintain and keep the city parks open for use despite the water restrictions. Improvements were made to the pedestrian mall, Kendra Field, and Memorial Playground. Parks install an irrigation well to increase access to quality water resources in Waukesha Park and Community Garden. Recreation. The Recreation Department hosted over 22,000 visitors at last chance splash and pool. Recreation staff taught more than 1,000 kids through swimming lessons, tennis lessons, pickleball lessons, ice skating license. The city resumed planning and communication efforts to explore regional park district with the county that could, if ultimately implemented, appreciably improve ability to maintain and provide recreation and sports amenities and services to the greater Helena area and community. Urban forestry. Urban forestry staff received 124 trees planted 168 new trees and donated over 40 cords of firewood to low income energy assistance program. Civic Center, despite the continued challenges of COVID has created for the events industry and the Civic Center hosted over 70 different events with 135 days booked at, the, at this venue. Golf course. Bill Robert Golf Course saw an increase in rounds played to 36,655 rounds. The golf course hosted these three events, cross country track events, a disc golf tournament, and hosted many weeks of cross country skiing in partnership with Last Chance Nordic Ski Club. Police. Some of the accomplishments, the police department established several civilian positions within the department, which will help the department continue developing its community engagement efforts. These positions included a volunteer coordinator, animal control urban wildlife program officer, and a crash investigator. The police department also hosted the first ever citizen 
Academy. The Academy started in September of 2021 and ran for eight weeks. This Citizen Academy allowed the community of Helena to see and learn firsthand what goes on with the police department and its operations. The department also started the process of implementing a new computer-aided dispatch record management system, which will take multiple years to complete. Chief Steve Hagen retired after 30 years of service to the Helena community. We thank Chief Hagen for his many years to the department and our community. Some of the goals, the police department is focused on recruiting and retention of officers. By the end of 2022, we would like to be closer to full staffing. Leadership is working on implementing a mental health program within the department for our officers and support staff. Community engagement will remain one of police department primary focus, focuses along with the public safety. The department wants to make sure to keep and developing positive community partnerships. Public Works. The Public Works Department accomplished several substantial projects, including its support for the Rodney Street Project, as well as completing all the installation of the water and sewer mains on the West Side Project. The team added three miles of water main and 1.85 miles of sewer main to the system. Water treatment. The water treatment produced 2.15 billion gallons of water in 2021. This is record amount. 65% of the water were produced within 60 days, within a 60 day time frame. Wastewater treatment. Through optimization, the wastewater treatment team achieved the best phosphorus numbers ever for the city of Helena and gain a better understanding of what will be of what will need to be done in the future. We had five consecutive quarters of no chronic toxicity. For our permit, we requested a reduction through DEQ and it was granted. We now will test one species alternating with, which will be a cost and labor saving for the city. Utility maintenance. The utility maintenance team repair 17 main breaks with a large percentage of the break during the winter months. The team, was, the team also changed out 417 meters and added 110 new meters. Solid waste. The solid waste division supplied customer service to 188,072 vehicles at the solid waste station in calendar year 2021. The solid waste division diverted 2,479 tons of recycling in 2021 at the transfer station and outlying sites around Helena. The city of Helena in contract with Helena Recycling diverted 377 tons in the source separated curbside collection program in 2021. The city of Helena generated 4,791 tons of compost in calendar year 2021. Transportation systems. The transportation department was busy in 2021, moving construction project forward while improving operational systems. Six blocks of Rodney Streets from Broadway to 9th Avenue were completely reconstructed with new water mains, sewer mains, ADA ramps, and sidewalks. The business district on the south three blocks were further enhanced with period lightning and tree vaults. The transportation department partnered with the railroad urban renewal district to fund replacement of 3,600 square feet of sidewalks and 320 feet of curb and gutter in the Sixth Ward Business District. The transit team started implementing a, a new interactive strip scheduling platform and customer app that allows a passenger to book a trip at just time and provide the customer with the ability to pay the required fee electronically. 
The platform will launch in early 2022 with the first user group being our established ADA paratransit trans service users. The City Fleet Services Division is transitioning to a new purchasing process that would allow the city to acquire items at the best prices possible, which enhances our spending power with our capital resources. In conclusion, Helena continues to work with many partners, the state of Montana, Lewis and Clark County, the city of East Helena, YMCA, Helena Food Share, National Forest Service, Helena Housing Authority, Rocky Mountain Development Council, United Way, Helena Regional Airports, and many others. While we continue to work with our partners to improve our growing city, we must recognize the great deal of work that is ahead of us. We must boldly tackle tough issues such as affordable housing for our vulnerable population and public safety. Together with our partners, we will accomplish these goals and more while still tending to our fiscal responsibilities and in service to those who entrusted those decisions to us. As the city charter states, Helen is the proud seat of our city government. And as such, it should strive to be the model for the future of our great state. Ladies and gentlemen, the state of affairs of our great city is strong. I thank you all. And I'm looking forward to working with you in the years to come. God bless the city, state, and these United States. Thank you. Board appointments. I am recommending the following board appointments. City Commission Board Appointments, Affordable Housing Trust Fund Advisory Board, Helen of Citizen Conservation Board, Solid Waste Tearing Committee, et cetera. I'll entertain commission discussion. Do we have anything from the commission? on the appointment. If not, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Mayor. Go ahead, Commissioner. I would move to accept the board appointments as recommended by Mayor Collins and as is detailed in our packet to the city commission committees, the Affordable Housing Trust Fund Advisory Board, Helena Citizen Conservation Board, and the Solid Waste Steering Committee. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Do we have any discussion? Okay, and uh, we'll read these board's assignments from the, the commission mayor. Mayor Wilmot Collins, the boards that will be assigned to me will be Helena Public Arts, City County Board of Health, City Civic Center Steering Committee. Commissioner Emily Dean, Mayor Pro Temp, Business Improvement District Audit, Commit, Audit Committee, Transportation Compliance Committee, ITNS Board. Commissioner Sean Logan, Audit Committee, Chamber of Commerce, Behavioral Health Local Advisory Committee, City County Parks Board. Commissioner Eric Fever, Board of Adjustment, Montana Business Assistant Connection, Non Motorized Tribal Advisory Committee. Commissioner Melinda Reed, ADA Compliance Committee, Audit Committee, Transportation Coordinating Committee, Affordable Trust Fund Advisory Board, the appointment of Riley Henson to a first term on the Affordable Housing Trust Fund Advisory Board as a community member with direct experience in housing insecurity. Term will begin upon appointment and expires January 31st, 2024. Affordable Housing Trust Fund Advisory Board, appointment of Chris Hunter, 
to a first term on the Affordable Housing Trust Fund Advisory Board as a citizen at large. Term will begin upon appointment and expires on January 31st, 2023. Appointment of Michael O'Neill to a first term on the Affordable Housing Trust Fund Advisory Board as a member of the nonprofit housing sector. Term will begin upon appointment and expires on January 31st, 2024. Appointment of John Roush to a first term on the Affordable Housing Trust Fund Advisory Board as a member of the real estate sector. Term will begin upon appointment and expires January 31st, 2024. Appointment of Rachel Ball Weber to a first term on the Affordable Housing Trust Fund Advisory Board as a member of a background in engineering or architectural. Term will begin upon appointment and expires on January 31st, 2023. Appointment of Byron Bailey to a first term on the Affordable Housing Trust Fund Advisory Board as a member from the field of banking or finance. Term will begin upon appointment and expires January 31st, 2024. Appointment of Stephanie Bold to a first term on the Affordable Housing Trust Fund Board as a member from the field of banking and finance. Term will begin upon appointment and expires January 31st, 2023. Helena Citizen Conservation Board interim appointment of Patrick Judge to the Helena Con Citizen Conservation Board as a representative of an environmental organization. Term will begin upon appointment and expires January 29, 2023. Solid Waste Steering Committee appointment of Tyler Emmer to the first term on the Solid Waste Steering Committee as a city resident representative term will begin upon appointment and expires January 31st, 2023. I know it's been moved and seconded and do we have any discussion, final discussion? If not, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Dean. Aye. Commissioner Reed. Aye. Commissioner Fever. Aye. Commissioner Logan. Aye. Mayor Collins. Aye. The motion carries five to zero. Thank you. Consent agenda. Approve of consent agenda paid from 11 29 2021 through 12 17 2021. Manager Hollishaw. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Commissioners. Mayor, I recommend you request a motion on consent to approve claims from November 29th, 2021 through December 17th, 2021 in the amount of $3,384,457.05. Thank you. Do we have any discussion? Madam Clerk, would you take the roll? Commissioner Dean. Aye. Commissioner Reed. Aye. Commissioner Fever. Aye. Commissioner Logan. Aye. Mayor Collins. Aye. The motion carries five to zero. Reporter of the city attorney, attorney court. Mr. Mayor, I believe you passed over communication proposals from commissioners. Yes. Oh, so do you want me to still give my report? Please, we can always go back to that. Okay. All right. All right, Mr. Mayor. Uh, nothing to report this evening from the city attorney's office. <laughs> Thank you. Communication proposals from commissioners. What have you, commissioners? Oh, yeah. Uh, Manager Hollow Shock. I still see that uh, Commissioner Fever and Commissioner Reed are still using the personal emails, would you see to it that they get the city email up and running? Or, I mean, uh, 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 Madam Clerk. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I, I believe that they're uh, currently both using their city emails for city business, so. Uh, I haven't seen that. Okay, well, I will ensure that, that that's happening. You bet. Report of the city manager. Thank you, Mayor. Commissioners, uh, just a, a quick um, congratulations to the city staff and to the city commission for the achievements of the year 2021 and excellent speech and appreciate all the work of the, the mayor and the commission this last year. Also wanted to uh, support the great work of our snow removal team over the last several weeks of doing an excellent job in responding, um, but also just jumping in to help their neighbors um, as they're observing them 
uh, and removing snow in areas that we continue to see being difficult and which are pretty common, but I'm still hopeful that someone will invent the berm removal invention at some point. So there's something for Carroll College or our Helena's <laughs> Community College students. Over the next year, our uh, city staff team have been and will be focused on um, the citizens experience and viewing the experience of our work from their point of view and uh, appreciate the opportunity to hear more from the community um, as we have. We'll also be working as you as you shared on some of the stability uh, within our staffing and empowering the team. So I just wanted to say uh, thank you again, Mayor and Commission and to the team for all of their hard work of the last year and currently. Thank you, Mayor. Thanks. And um, I also uh, thank you for bringing that up, uh, Manager Hollishuk. I also want to pay, uh, uh, give special thanks to the snowplow drivers. I've been, I've been getting some emails uh, from the community thanking me. And, you know, I said, no, the thanks need to go to uh, the snowplow drivers and the managers. So I, in this public forum, I want to express the community's sincere thanks to you all for all that you're doing to remove the snow from the, uh, from our streets. Communications from Helen Citizens Council, Helena Representative John Andrew. Good evening, Mayor Collins and commissioners. Tonight, I only have a couple of things to mention to you. The Citizens Council is going to meet January 26th for the first time in person in almost two years. Mayor Collins is going to perform a swearing in ceremony for newly elected standing and many new members. We also are going to uh, entertain nominations for a new executive committee. So we're kind of late to get started for 2022, but uh, we're looking forward to uh, working and meeting the new commissioners and working with the established commissioners along with the city manager and yourself, Mayor Collins. So that's all I have tonight. Thank you, Mr. Andrew. Is there anyone from the public wishes to address the commission? Madam Clerk, I don't know if you're around, but do you do we have any raised hands? I don't. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I apologize. Um, I needed to exit to the other computer in order to take public comment. I do have one hand raised online, if I may. It uh, is for Kev Hamp. Go ahead, Kev. You have the floor. Thank you, Mayor and Commissioners. Um, I'm just checking in. Welcome to a new year. Um, I, this is on Big Sky Pride stuff because we are planning on doing Pride again this summer in July. Um, we are at the point where we are trying to get the insurance in place in advance to keep our costs a little bit more reasonable than they were last year because we ended up spending about $6,700 on uh, insurance. And part of that was because of the delay that we ran into and in knowing what we could get for insurance. So um, what I'm looking for from the city is uh, a step up in commitment that uh, we're going to be able to get the open container uh, declaration like we did before. I know that the city attorney has been working on uh, updating the forms, but the last discussion that I've seen on that was in October. And we haven't seen an update that included actually a way to ask for an open container declaration at all. And I'd like to get this done in the next month or so, so that we can, again, get insurance and make sure that everything's going to be on the up and up. Um, so i um, poking you guys a little bit early, but I just wanna get that onto your uh, radar so that we can get that done. And that's about it. Thanks, Kim. Do we have any others? Madam Clerk. Mr. Mayor, commissioners, I see no other hands raised and there is no written public comment in the Q&A. Okay, thank you. Any final comments from the commission? 
Mr. Mayor, uh, just want to say nice speech. I think that was a really nice summary. And I'm wondering, I know we've gotten the written copy in the past, but I'd love if we could get it this year too. Yes, I'm sure um, after all our edits and all of that, it will be posted Perfect. on the site and I could give you a personal copy, hand deliver a personal copy to you. Maybe you can sign it for me. Okay. Do you have any other comments from the commission? If not, ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is adjourned.